Welcome to this short video about the Holocore module in Impact for Revit. So, we'll begin this by looking at the Holocore settings. We'll look at general here, which is the basics of the Holocore geometry itself. And moving on to the cores. Here we have to find which cores we have, where to cut them as well, and which strands are the maximum number of strands in the element, as well as we actually have also grouped them. In strand patterns, you can set which standard strand patterns your holocore can be using. And ending off in calculations, you have the settings to calculate increased stress later on. You have some specific settings for recesses and recess edges. So, taking it from here to actually going into our project and drawing some holocores. So what we want to do is, we want to draw holocore. So of course I go to the Impact tab, select Draw Holocore. Then I select which holocore I want to draw, in this case holocore number 20, with strand pattern. And then select the boundary I want to draw it in. So there are some different options, but in this case I want to pick model lines because this is what I just did in the Revit model itself here. Just drew some model lines, plain Revit model lines. I select them, press finish, and now you can see that there are some options here for the direction, etc. of the hollow course. So we set the direction here, and we can then see we can also move the location of the hot cut hollow core. So this is fine for me. And I'll go ahead and press OK now. And then you can see that Impact will create all the whole course in Revit. If we need to add some things or change some things, we can go ahead and press Edit Whole Core. So I can edit all the whole course at the same time. Going in, for example, and adding end caps. For this here, I take U1, but we change it to U2 as we actually have some open cores there as well. Press OK and immediately after pressing OK all the whole course will already have changed. So now the last thing we want to do is we want to save the whole course into the system so we can actually generate automatic shop drawings. So we click the update model and then we select the whole course to save and simply press update. It will now save the whole course in order and when it has done that we're actually ready to create the shop drawing. So now we can see that we have element marks also on the plan here. We press the create shop drawing button, select the element we want to create it for and we can use several different templates if we want to. It will create the shop drawing, we open it and here we are. So this actually also means jumping into our project management software that we can just go ahead straight and plan the whole course. So we select the whole course for planning and just put them down on the planning table, transport plan them or whatever we want to do in impact for production. So that was it for this short whole course video.